Welcome to John Lewis 3D Learning. In this presentation, we are going to see 5th standard maths numbers. How to quickly find out the factors. For example, let us take can 7560 divide all numbers from 1 to 10 without any remainder or not. This is what is the question. Now we have to check the divisibility for all numbers from 1 to 10 very quickly. How to do that? So let's take the number 7560. First of all, we check it for divisibility by 1. Any number is divisible by 1. Therefore, 7560 also divisible by 1. Then divisibility 2. So if the last digit is a even number, then the whole number is divisible by 2. Here the last number is 0, it is an even number. 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. All these 5 numbers are even numbers. Therefore, this number is divisible by 2. Then divisibility for 3. Sum up all the digits in the given number. 7 plus 5 plus 6 plus 0. That is equal to 18. Again, it is 18 is a double digit number. Again, you add 1 plus 8. That is equal to 9. Go on adding until you get a single digit. So, here we are getting 9. If you get 3, 6 or 9, then the whole number is divisible by 3. If you are getting any other number, that is not divisible by 3. So, what should be the sum? The digit sum should be 3, 6 or 9. So, here we are getting 9. Therefore, the whole number is divisible by 3. Then, divisibility for 4. Take the last two digits. You divide it by 2 two times consecutively. If it is divisible by 2 without any remainder 2 times consecutively then the whole number is divisible by 4 also. Okay, Here the last two digit is 60. You divide it by 2 you get 30. So, 30 also you need not find out the answer. 30 also can divide by 2 without any remainder. Therefore, the whole number is divisible by 4. Next, divisibility for 5. If the last digit is either 0 or 5, then the whole number is divisible by 5. Here the last digit is 0, therefore the whole number is divisible by 5. Then divisibility for 6. If any number is divisible by 2 and 3, then the whole number is divisible by 6 also. Already we ch checked out for uh, 2 and 3 divisibility. 7560 is divisible by both 2 and 3. Therefore, this is also divisible by 6. Then 7, it is a tricky one. What we need to do is strike out the last digit 0, multiplied by 2, that is 0 into 2 is 0. Subtract that 0 from the remaining 756. Therefore, 756 minus 0 is equal to 756. Now, again you strike out the last digit 6. The remaining number is 75. Multiply the striked out number 6 into 2, 12. Therefore, 75 minus 12 is 63. Now, again strike out the last digit 3 from 63. What is the number remaining? 6. Multiply the number 3 by 2, that is 3 into 2, 6. Subtract this 6 from that 6. 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. If the final answer you are getting is either 0 or 7, then the whole number is divisible by 7. So, here we are getting 0, therefore the whole number is divisible by 7. You take a paper and try to work out for number 7. Okay, You rewind and watch the video again and get the method for 7 and do it in a paper and then you do it. And slowly we should master it and we should be able to do it mentally as I am doing it now. Okay, Then divisibility for 8. Take out the last 3 digits, that is 560. That should be divisible by 2, 3 times without remainder. For example, here 560, you divide it by 2, you are getting 280. Again, you divide it by 2, you are getting 140. Again, if you divide by 2, you will, get, you will, divide, you will be able to divide it without any remainder. 140 by 2 is equal to 70. So, it continuously divides 2, 3 times without any remainder. In such case, the whole number is divisible by 8. Therefore, this number is divisible by 8 also. Then for 9, 
it is very simple like number 3 you sum up all the digits in the given number that is called digit sum 7 plus 5 12 12 plus 6 18 18 plus 0 is equal to 18 8 plus 1 9 if the number the digit sum is 9 or the final answer what you are getting is 9 then the whole number is divisible by 9 if you are getting any other number it is not divisible by 9 since here we are getting 9 this number is divisible by 9 and last one divisibility for 10 if the number is ending in 0 definitely that number is divisible by 10 so here the last number is 0 therefore it's divisible by 10 also therefore 7560 is divisible by all the numbers from 1 to 10 so such type of question can be asked in five mark questions you should be able to find out very quickly by the method i just explained now hope you liked it it was useful keep on watching john lewis 3d learning for more information thank you very much for watching until we see next time bye bye